Well, uh, no, not a spring chick again today. As everyone knows, she does not go out in bad weather, and the weather is yucky outside. So it's just me once again doing it. So uh, this is, you know, Obama's blame uh, everybody but himself. He, uh, he went to the Black Caucus uh, Awards last night and blamed them for not supporting him stuff and told them to stop whining and complaining and get off their their rears and re-elect him. You know, he is the first black president and therefore they have to support him even if he doesn't support them. And here's one from the Republicans. It's better to re-elect Obama than to elect any of the Republicans, even if he is bad for our economy right now. You know, support him no matter what. I, I love this. That uh, if he wants to spend money we don't have, support him. If he wants to bankrupt the country, support him. That's that's from the right. That's from white ring press, folks. Um, Perry takes fire on immigration. Well, basically, Perry is finished. You know, when, when you give a, you give a hundred thousand dollars to the children of illegal aliens to go to college in Texas. And the, and the people that were born in Texas and came here leg, for their families legally they have an ungodly problem trying to get it. So he's, you know, he's finished. I mean, he, he might as well, you know, go join Michelle Bachman because he basically guaranteed that, uh, that not, uh, Romney moves to the top and that other people are going to probably join the thing. It, you, I, what you're doing is you're probably looking at a convention battle this year where nobody has enough to go over the top, which means they'll bring in somebody from left field, which I haven't seen that done in, you know, I guess since, um, you know, in 50 years, I guess. So um, uh, ECB is not a miss to, uh, to chance of Greece defaulting. Well, absolutely. They, they, they defaulted twice, folks. God, you know. So, uh, first of all, the they're, they're, they they uh, don't have any money. They're overly taxed to begin with, and the union is, is a social government, folks. And social government simply don't get the idea of democracy, you know. Uh, and the unions are basically don't want to have their pensions cut by twenty percent. So that's that's not going to work. Um, Obama to appease the unions to waive parts of no child left behind. I mean, yeah, for Christ's sake, we we sure don't want to have people, you know, that can read or write because, I mean, you'd rather have the typical Democrat like the President of the United States who can't count one and one and come up with two. He counts one and one and comes up with a million, you know. So, you know, just another way to, you know, well, the teachers aren't doing the job, so therefore, you know, let's fix it so the teachers don't have to do the job. Um, HP names uh, Whitman CEO. Whitman is basically CEO because she's going to come in and cut. You know, that's what she's known for. She basically comes in and cuts. You know, the dead areas are going to be gone, and, um, you know, and she's probably going to, to have discussions about, okay, they, they bought a company. They, sp they spent money to buy a company that basically supplies material for computers and the company uh, company is going to get rid of their computer line which has no buyers which means they basically whack out a quarter of the, right off the bat they take out a quarter of the possibility to sell their new software to um, basically the Palestinian leader reject the international peace blueprint this meaning uh, you know you, uh, you're not, they're not going to just give you something because you're Palestinian. You know, the, that is just not going to happen, folks. Um, the G20 pleasures to support banks and I, uh, Boulder Euro Fund. Well, basically, Obama has pledged to, do, uh, to simply burn out the printing presses, if need be, in order to make certain that there's enough money on hand for all those banks. And I'll get, get another, yeah, another scandal for the Obama administration like this one. In violation of all the legal statutes, 113 of 100 new 13 hires of the Justice Department are complete and absolute members of the Democratic Party and, uh, and supporters of the President of the United States. It says you cannot appoint, you cannot hire people based upon their political persuasion and that's exactly when put it this way I, I realize that Democrats can't add or anything but 113 out of 113 I mean they could have found somebody that wasn't you know you know like about 60 or 70 down the line found somebody that wasn't a supporter of the president of the United States and a liberal Democrat but they couldn't find anybody that wanted to work for the Obama administration that wasn't a liberal Democrat can you imagine that 
Uh, okay, here's one too that um, sparks fly as U.S. Uh, as U.S. bar over Afghan bloodshed. Well, the problem is they know that the go the Muslim-led government in um, Pakistan is responsible for all this stuff. What happens is they flee over to Pakistan. The only time the Pakistanis help them over there now is when they have a problem with somebody and then they like the United States to come handle their problem. Other than that, I mean, basically there, there are people that are demanding that we attack Pakistan. <clears throat> the problem is Pakistan is a nuclear power and everybody knows you've got a dangerous Muslim government control of nuclear weapons. They're going to fire them on India sooner or later, folks. And uh, here's one from the from the right-wing press. It's all over for Republicans as a party, you know, once again, because the nation demands more debt and less jobs. They, I mean, this morning, well, there are 22,000 millionaires and billionaires that aren't paying their fair share of taxes. And they, but they pay 70% of all the taxes. But there are 22,000 that aren't. Well, you go after the 22,000 that aren't. But they said in this country there are like a little less than 300, around 300,000 people that are paying 70% of the taxes and they aren't paying their fair share. How about, they said, well, those 50% that aren't paying their share, well, that doesn't count because they pay taxes. The same as illegal aliens pay taxes. So therefore, but they don't pay federal taxes and their this whole debate is over federal taxes and first of all the debate is is that the people that the, the debate has never been a legitimate debate because everybody there there is a set income tax rate for the wealthy the same as everybody else and it's like six seven percent higher than the um, than the taxes that Buffett's secretary is paying anyway Warren Buffett hasn't paid taxes in so long he owes a billion bucks you know, and they're trying, they've been trying to get it from him for years, Democrat. You bet that the reason why he's supporting Obama is because Obama's going to kill the tax on him. Um, basically, judge drops some claims against Madoff relatives. Well, first of all, that we're going to try the sins of the father cannot be vested upon his descendants. That is the rule of law, folks, and as time as the Obama administration, you know, it's going to be unreal. When Obama's out as president, Everybody, they said that uh, one of the people said that they can't sue the President of the United States for things that he does as President of the United States. But if he specifically denies he has anything to do with it, they can go after him in civil court like you do not believe. Plus the fact that there are, um, the, the President has no legal right to break the law. If the President of the United States breaks the law, he can be brought before a court if he leaves office. But then who says this President is going to leave office? Um, basically, uh, faith and policy makers plunge is taking market with it. Well, yeah, because they know, okay, basically, um, the Republicans cut green spending from the, from the House bill they sent to the Senate. The Senate will not even cut green spending, which means there's never going to be any, any consensus on their super committee whatsoever. And, the way it works anyway. Well, you cut $750 billion in military spending and raise taxes by a, half, by a trillion and a half, and that, and we'll cut the same $500 million, $500 billion that we've already cut out of Medicare, and we'll, we'll, we'll use the savings we're going to get from Afghan and Iraq, you know, to, as, dif, as different things. Um, if you pass it, it's the same cuts. If you don't pass it, it's the same cuts. Um, basically, the News Corp is now being sued by its investors and Murdoch is on the way out. I mean, I've seen people, they're really getting belligerent about Rupert Murdoch now. I mean, uh, they said that Murdoch has simply caved in to the fears of the Justice Department and basically um, uh, over on Fox News now, you could ask, the, you know, if the President of the United States would go to Fox News and bend over and say he has a scratch, people would literally be trampled to death, you know, trying to get there to scratch his butt because uh, anybody forget that Mur Murdoch actually supported the president in the last election because he thought he would be better for business. And when the guy at the top is supporting, you can, well, all you had to do was check it. How many people took extended vacations on Fox News and Fox Business? Um, we have a year of... Uh, Euro aims to beef up crisis fund world and urges action. Well, they don't have any money, folks. If you don't have any money, there's not a whole lot you can do. Um, uh, I've got a money button in Mark Twain, The Animal Kingdom. It's often only as difficult as you make it to be.